Hi beauties and curls, it is Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming back and taking a seat. And out of all the YouTube universe, you decided to come and chit chat with your girl. If you're new, if you're a new subscriber, I just wanna welcome you. If you're an OG, you know how we roll. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's gonna let you know that I post videos every week and my schedule is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6 p.m. But I do post bonus videos throughout the week. So just stay tuned and hit the notification bell. It's gonna let you know whenever I upload. Okay, so today's video is all about this look and how I use my BoxyCharm for February to get it done. So let's get straight into February BoxyCharm. So this is called Galaxy Glow. It is a very holographic look. Now I'm gonna be honest and let you know that this is usually something that I would not do or would not wear throughout the day. It is something different, but I feel like that this, I'm gonna tell you, this would be ideal for prom. And I know prom is coming up, so I feel like, you know, to get ahead of the game, this would be good for spring and prom. I can definitely see myself wearing this during the spring. It's not spring yet. This is why I went for the dark lip and still tried to make it wearable for today but you know what i feel like that my eyes are wearable i probably wouldn't wear this as a highlight but i wanted to anyway so i would wear my eyes like this but not the highlight which i still wanted to try it so the first thing that we're going to talk about is the lip exfoliator this is from pure cosmetics and it retails for 17 dollars and I love the fact that they do give the instructions on here. It says, with an instant boost of shea butter, raw sugar, and exfoliating beads, this 4-in-1 lip scrub pencil exfoliates, plumps, and hydrates, and soothes. So as you can see, I'm putting it on my lips and exfoliating my lips. I definitely will use this again um, just because, first of all, I'm going to use all of these products and let you know at the end of the month in my favorites video, if it was a favorite or a flop because I will be using it for the remaining of February. The next item that I use were the crown brushes and these re retail for $29.99. It is the three piece trio. There is a concealer brush, a contour brush, and a large powder brush. And these retail, like I said, for $29.99. I have used crown brush before and I really do like it. I only ended up using two of the three brushes, but I definitely could use this for, I would use this probably for contouring or even um, my concealer, but I like the size of this. And so, yeah, this one is a really good flat brush. And these remind me a lot of the Wet n Wild. I wanna look more into this because this trio reminds me a lot, a lot of the Wet n Wild brushes, the color, the look of them. So yes, those were nice, they're okay. But let's go ahead and go to the Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlighter Collection. And I'm gonna show you each shade. Unfortunately, these don't have names, but this Naked Cosmetic Holographic Highlighter Palette retails for $39.99. It says with six stunning holographic shades, the highlighting palette is essential for makeup enthusiasts. Each iridescent shade is perfect for highlighting and layering to transfer any look into something enhancing. Enchanting, I'm sorry about that. It is an enchanted one but like i said this would be great for spring and prom i do enjoy this especially on my eyes and i use the purple with the blue shift and i feel like that my look still came out pretty good and then finally it is this is the cover fx shimmer veil it says this retails for 28 dollars, and it says this multi-use shimmering cream is crease proof enough for the boldest eye looks and formulated weightless to finish a shimmering effect anywhere on the face so i actually used it on the cheekbones and i actually could use this in the center which i think i'm going to do i could use this in the center of my eye and let's see how it works on top of another shadow and because this is cream i think it would be okay both of these are like cream products. This reminds me of the, the Stila Glitter and Glow in Hollow. This reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Moonchild palette, but uh, yeah, got in my BoxyCharm for $21 instead of paying, what, $40? And got some extra stuff with it. So these set too, that dried pretty quickly. 
and I have it on in my inner corner. I really do like this. I think I'm going to get some use out of this and I do like cover FX. Anything cover FX I have tried, I have really liked. So um, yeah, we'll try these during the month and see how these would really realistically incorporate into my collection. But yeah, that's today's BoxyCharm for February. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you got in your BoxyCharm or if you're thinking about it, I do have a link down below if you guys want to check it out. It is $21 and this was a $148 box. I am excited. This does, does and although this is out of the box for me, it does inspire me and um, I don't have anything like this in my collection, which is pretty cool, but I definitely can see this in spring and prom being used. So this is the final look. So honestly, you guys, I totally forgot about the Jessica Leaf Skin Vintage Eyeliner in black. The truth of the matter is, it is just a basic black eye pencil. It's not waterproof. If you can see that, it smudges too. And yeah, it just got lost in the shuffle. So I actually prefer retractable. But if it is going to be a pencil, it needs to be really, really good. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if these are any of the things that call out to you. Or if you did get the February BoxyCharm, what was in yours? Was it different? Was it the same stuff? And I will see beautiful you in the next video. Bye.